Alright guys, it's Sasha Fihami. Uh, this is going to be a short tutorial about how to animate lines in Figma. Uh, obviously there are uh, different tools you can use for this kind of stuff like After Effects or others uh, to make the uh, line animation and then import the GIF or whatever format you want in your Figma file and then play them on your prototype uh, using the GIF format but uh, those are not convenient because you have to a switch to a different application and b then the gif itself gets uh, uh, pretty heavy for the figma itself so uh, this is a simple landing page that i just uh, designed for the demonstration uh, obviously uh, you can see there's a top bar there's a text and that this is the line that we want to animate from point a to point b now th there is no uh, conventional way to do that uh, like Figma itself doesn't have that kind of ability. Yes, we have uh, a lot of plugins like uh, we've got Fig Motion, uh, where you can make the animations and stuff. But again, the animations you make on Fig Motions are also uh, first exported as a GIF and then imported as a GIF itself. So again, it's it defeats the whole purpose. So um, I'm gonna start with the um first step obviously you, you're going to need a line that you want to animate or whatever path you made i'm just going to make a okay that doesn't seem like a really nice line but uh, just you know for the sake of tutorial let's not invest our time in this one okay this is perfect now what i want is uh first let me paste it into a into this artboard now i want this line to start from point A and then stop at point B. Now, uh, for this, first you need to understand how uh, masking works in Figma. So, for for a short tutorial, let's assume that we have these two boxes, uh, box white and red. If I want this box to be masked in this one, I just have to select these two and uh, always um, keep one thing in mind that the object that is going to be masked around the other one should be at uh, behind that object so if I want this red box to be masked inside this white one I will have to place the white one behind the red one now select these two press command M control M or just this cute little button right here and that's it now the idea behind uh, animating this line is the same as masking uh, as the mask that I have just created here what we are gonna do is uh, have this red box here and then fill it in whatever mask we have and then you know uh, till the end so let's not do that first we are going to place our line right here now let's assume that we are going to fill this line with a red color, right? So what I want is I want to make a box, a huge rectangle of the same color that I want that is covering the whole area of that white line. And I'm going to paint it red. Okay, that's too sharp. Okay, that's fine. And then mask them above that line. Now what, hap what is happening here, you can see the vector that we had created the line is right here and the rectangle that I've just masked around this uh, line is right here now the idea is to have this red box animate from the left to right which gives the uh, whole line an effect that it starts from point A and then ends at point B and to way uh, the way to do that is to use the uh, Figma variant properties so what I'm going to do is uh, make the filler. I have already made the mask here. Now I'm going to declare it as a component. To do that, you have to press Control alt k or Command-Alt-K on Macbook or just press this cute little button right here. Now we have the ending point. That should be the uh, point that what it looks like when the line is whole filled. But what about when it's not filled? So for that, we have to create a variant. I'm gonna press the add variant button and in the uh, that's actually the point uh, where the line hasn't you know hasn't been filled yet 
so it's it's your call whatever uh, if you want this one to uh, be the one where the line hasn't filled yet you can do that obviously what you have to do is pick that rectangle and this slide it all the way to oops to the left now I'm just gonna use the keyboard to do that and it's out of the frame now you can see that there is a there is no line that we can see because obviously the mask uh, the object that was you know uh, showing the color uh, above that mask is you know outside the frame but the thing is the most important thing is that this rectangle should be right here uh, behind or you know above this component because what we are going to do is a smart animate this component to turn into this one and we all know how Figma works if you don't know I'm gonna make a tutorial about smart animate as well but uh, what Figma does is it traces it traces the rectangle uh, the name of the rectangle should be the same because Figma should know what rectangle it is moving from point A to point B now what I'm gonna do is go into prototype uh, select this variant and drop it on to the next one and I'm gonna you can obviously change the properties from on click to uh, after delay because uh, when, when the user lands on the uh, landing page he doesn't have to click in um, you know anywhere to start the animation the website itself should start the animation so in that case you will have to select the after delay uh, option right here but for sake of the tutorial I'm going to uh, make the on click trigger uh, and just press on click and what I'm gonna do is change from change the instant option to smart animate and that's it that's that's it so what I'm now what I'm gonna do is select this uh, copy this variant where the line is not visible delete this one and paste it right here it should be a it should be behind the landing page text now if you want to see the uh, the positioning of that line that you have just made you have you would have to select the you know uh, the variant that you have just created but uh, set the position and then change it back to default why did I do that uh, to, sh to see where the line is I will have to select the I will have to uh, you know select the variant where the line is visible so I can see where do I set my line maybe I want it here maybe I want it here so I just on it here so I've just put the variant 2 uh, to see uh, where the line is and then change it back to default and now it should work now let's just play and when I click on it you can see that line started from point A to point B which is pretty fast I don't want it that fast because it defeats the whole purpose of the animation so what I'm gonna do is go back to prototype click on this one and uh, change the timer to maybe one second going back to physics class 1000 microseconds are equal to one second so ha now if I click on the prototype you can see that the line started from point A and ended on point B again it's not the best way to do it but in Figma itself, I, I haven't found any other way. If, if you know any other way, please let me know in the comments below because I would really appreciate your help. And uh, just like that, if you want uh, this line to be pre-filled with a white color and then you want the red color to be, you know, uh, filling in, then you will have to replicate uh, another triangle in it and then fill it with white color, uh, you know, which can work as a base color for that line. But that's for another tutorial. Thank you very much, guys. See ya.